Cancer, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Thank you for being here. I'm anxious to get your party started here on your reading. We're going to, in honor of Valentine's Day, we're going to pull the heart oracle messages, whether you have a love interest in mind, whether you're already seeing somebody or somebody coming towards you in the future, this reading may be for you. I'm also going to get your overall messages using the Tarot of Dreams. Stay till the end, otherwise you're going to miss the messages. I'm going to get your energy here, whoever might be on your mind on the other deck. This can pick up finance, career, family friends, an ex, a current love interest, a friend, a business partner. It's going to resonate differently for each one of you. I'm going to get the mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with now or in the future on our Shacy Prism Tarot deck, advice and guidance messages as well. So don't go anywhere. Uh, we're also going to use the Tarot of Sexual Magic, get the intimate messages between you and who you might be dealing with, okay? Let's see what's going on see what's going on here for you in the romance department. Um, focusing on Valentine's Day for these messages, I always do your meditation in advance on your energy. And this is a general reading. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some things may resonate now, some things may resonate in the future. I thank you so much for taking the time to listen and let's start digging. If this resonates for you, there will be a part two pinned down below. I will get into that a bit later. I know we're all anxious. Are you ready? I'm gonna point this down just a little bit. Okay, so you can choose your messages. The first one you choose is gonna be the most important message you're meant to hear, your second, your second, and your third, your third. I've had the odd person complain that they couldn't see the cards. I feel it's more important that I tune into the reading and pick up your energy and give you the messages. I do show the cards to the camera as I pull them for you. So I figure, I guess, that that's good enough. I don't know why everybody wants to see them laid down here. It actually can be quite messy because I get so in tune with the messages that um, that's just what ends up happening. And I feel it's more important to give a, you know an accurate reading to what I'm feeling. So, but whatever, I mean, you know, it's, it's like you can't please everybody and I know that. So uh, let's get started. I know we're anxious, Cancer. So remember, this may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with or whoever a person that you're dealing with is dealing with and you will get the messages, right? Whoever's energy I'm picking up on. Generally, I do pick up the other person's energy, just FYI, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So if you're going through a difficult phase in a current relationship or connection here, uh, Spirit is saying that, you know, imagine yourself and them healing right now. That could be what's going on or what needs to happen, okay? Next message, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. That's awesome right there. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. I believe they also just got that message or some of you may have strong Leo in your chart or the person you're dealing with does. But Spirit is telling you, this is a healing time for you. This is time to manifest those miracles, to believe in miracles and to trust that your, dream, your dreams can become reality. Just keep manifesting and having faith and trust here, okay? This time right now, I feel like what Spirit is saying is, is the healing process in order for things to come together the way that they're meant to in divine timing. Next message, wow, surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. This is incredible. So the message I'm definitely getting here for you or whoever you're dealing with here, this is, could be what they're going through here. They're healing right now. They're trying to manifest. They're trying to bring everything into reality. They're following their guidance. They're willing to surrender. Uh, they, they realize that you know anything that hasn't worked before must be surrendered and let go of before something new can enter their lives. So spirit is telling you to let go. Everything's going to work out. You need to have the trust and the faith and to continue to follow divine guidance here. Wow, beautiful messages. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get the tarot messages here, your overall energy. Angels and spirits, what are the messages? Don't forget to hit that like button and support your fellow Cancerians. The faith button just came out. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who's quite traditional or marriage or thinking about marriage, thinking about family here, or your person is here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio, another Cancer, or Pisces. I just saw that in pre-shuffle. What's going on? Angels and spirits with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the newest messages they need to hear? I love hearing that. that. That's the seagulls in the background outside. Uh, we're actually moved for most of you that uh, are returning. You know that. And we live closer to the ocean. And it's such a treat to actually be able to hear uh, 
the wildlife outside more. I see a lot more squirrels and seagulls and stuff like that. It's funny, I never used to appreciate the seagulls when I lived, lived here years ago, but I do now, I, I appreciate the sound. Wow, look what just came out on top. Someone's missing you or has regrets here or vice versa. It could be both of you here. You may have recently broke up. You're healing from the situation or there may be something they need to surrender, are surrendering, or you are. Um, again, I saw a 10 of cups in pre-shuffle. There could be, you know, a situation where there's a breakup. And spirit is saying that in order to uh, go towards the new, you need to surrender the old. So it can be that somebody is severing ties with people, places, or things. They're feeling a bit sad and down right now. Um, they're regretting how things are turning out. This isn't what they expected. They're healing. You, them, could be both of you here. Uh, but Spirit wants you to know to have faith here. We are manifesting miracles. Wow, that definitely popped out for a reason. Let me know how that's resonating. What's going on for cancer? What are the newest messages, especially in honor of Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2022? What are the messages that they need to hear? For the month of February 2022. So even though I'm getting these messages for you now, Cancer, this may resonate in the future. It may be resonating now. Uh, repeat clients have definitely told me that both have happened, okay? So we have strength. So Spirit definitely wants you to know you have the strength and courage to go through this difficult uh, cycle here, uh, to get through any disappointment and to surrender and to have the trust and faith and continue to manifest. Miracles are coming as long as you continue to have the faith and manifest. Again, Leo energy. Queen of Wands, wow. You're coming out as very vivacious, a go-getter. A spirit is saying you have the power here to manifest here or your person does. Uh, they may look at you as their Queen of Wands, somebody who is very sexy, very uh, very much a go-getter, very much in your power. They may look at you as having a lot of determination, a lot of strength here, and they're missing you. Again, vice versa, it could be both of you here. Oh, they could be keeping a close eye on you with the Page of Swords, wondering what you're up to, what you're doing here. Let's keep going, Page of Swords. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Um, they're wondering whether or not to walk through these, these door, this door of fire here. This is a four of wands here. Hmm. This is interesting. The four of wands can represent freedom, celebration, happiness, uh, get togethers, engagement. Uh, they may see you as a future partner. They're missing you here. Uh, they may be thinking about, you know, what are you up to here? For some of you, not all of you, they may look at you like you are their twin flame here and worth walking through and taking the action towards and going through these doors of fire or hell to get to you to go through these, this different healing period here. Wow, this is deep messages. Clarify the Four of Wands for Cancer. Whoa. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, but more than that, this is kind of like they may be trying to have the strength and the courage and determination to come towards you. Like I said, flip it uh, to, to let you know that they, they want to or they feel like you are their twin flame or they want to see you. They want to come together with you. They look at you um, and miss you and realize that they could have marriage or commitment here with you with the four of wands here. And they're trying to figure out how to come towards you. They may feel like you're trying to get away from them here as well. They may be trying to check in on you to see if you're trying to get away or this is what your person is going through. They may have gone through a recent breakup, severed ties um, in their relationships or a family situation here. And someone is keeping an eye on them because they feel that they're trying to get away from them or their marriage or the commitment or the responsibilities here. That's what I'm getting. Seven of uh, Swords. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to heal here. I'm trying to go towards my destiny. Somebody's trying to go towards their destiny. I feel it's you, but again, flip it how you need to. This is about wishes, hopes, dreams coming true. This is a very healing energy. Somebody's doing a lot of healing, trying to get away here from a situation. And it's like, this has been very disappointing. I have certain regrets here, but I'm really trying to figure out how to heal myself here. It's like somebody maybe is in a situation where, you know, I'm being checked up on all the time and not trusted here. I'm not happy here. I want to get away. I need to figure this out and to take what I can 
and leave here because you know this is this has been very disappointing somebody's very disappointed in a family situation or a relationship here and it's kind of like i just need to heal and get away from here and i feel like the other person is really keeping a close eye on them knowing that they're trying to get away i don't know that's what i'm getting let's go ahead and put this up a little bit more sorry i'm still getting used to my space here there we go i hope that's okay anyway <laughs> as my pillow comes falling down all right let's go what is going on in Cancer's energy? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who's coming towards them? What are their intentions? What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know? What are the most current messages for February 2022? Career, finance, love, family. What do we need to know for Cancer? What are the most important messages they need to hear? What are the most important messages Cancer needs to hear? For February 2022, what are the messages? Wow, way to start. You definitely could be dealing with a Leo. I believe they got the Ace of Wands as well. And judgment. Wow. It's like, I've made this final decision here. I want something new. I want something exciting. I need to get away from here. I need to figure this out. I need to heal. I need to make a final decision here. Somebody's having this realization that they can create something new and exciting in their life. That they don't have to stay in a place where, you know, either I'm being spied upon or not trusted or... Um, I can manifest what I want. I'm realizing I can manifest what I want. I'm going through this awakening, this spiritual realization. The angels are waking me up that I can create something new, but I need to take the action here. I do have the strength and determination if I call upon it here to move forward here, to go towards what is rightful for me. I'm going towards my destiny here and I'm having the hope and faith that my future will work out, but I do know that I need to manifest it here. I need to have the trust and faith that things will work out. So this is someone who's very optimistic about the future here. Wanting either a second chance with you, vice versa, could be each other, missing each other, realizing that, you know, I need to take the action here. And it's like, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm kind of getting some power within me here to take on, take the action here. But it's like, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I'm trying to figure out how to heal the situation, how to have a second chance, how to come together here, how to revive this situation or start brand new. Wow. Clarify judgment. It could be dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here, or those that have that strong in their chart. Could be you, could be them. Ten of Pentacles. That's having stability, that's having it all, that's leaving a legacy, that's combining assets, resources here, trying to make a final choice here to either revive a long-term relationship or commitment here. So I feel like there was a breakup and a Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius or Aries or somebody with that in their chart is wanting to take action, checking up on somebody, feeling like somebody's getting away here from a marriage or commitment, wanting a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning and another person wants a second chance here because they feel like the other person's trying to get away. Let's get advice and guidance first, actually. What's the advice and guidance for cancer for February 2022? In part two, it will be down below in the comment section or the description area. Take your choice. Everything you want is in the description area, but if you wanna join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior family membership, that gives you unlimited part twos. You can check on your other uh, placements in your birth chart if you know what they are. If you don't know what they are, you go to astrosofa.com. You can check on your person, whoever you're dealing with, family members. You can you know, check on your divine partner messages as well as sometimes I do overall uh, general energy messages as well. Uh, you'll have access to all of that. Okay, it's a lot less expensive or I still have pay as you go for those of you that have requested both. Both options are there. Wow, this is interesting. So we have cycles and rhythm. Spirit wants you to know you're going through different cycles, okay, right now. And, and Spirit wants you to honor your ups and downs of how you're feeling. You know, if you feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster, Spirit wants you to acknowledge that and feel okay with that and just trust that everything here is, is about surrendering to the divine, about going after your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, after you know, about having the, the optimism here, but realizing that, 
You need to trust your heart and follow with guidance that it will lead you in the right direction. Spirit's trying to get you to feel, to honor those emotions, you or whoever you're dealing with here. Um, because I feel like uh, somebody has been in the energy of kind of like just really saying nothing but doing a lot of checking here. Um, so Spirit wants you to honor your emotions here that you're going through. Don't try to sweep them under the carpet, okay? Deal with them. Uh, because that's the healthy approach here, whether it's taking a walk, going to the spa, going to the ocean here, or just simply lighting a couple of candles and sinking in a nice warm hot bath, whatever, like Spirit just wants you to take care of yourself and just go with the flow here. That, you know, the universe with the star energy here and judgment is watching over everything here and wants you to believe in miracles as long as you continue to follow your heart and you don't try to fight or force things that things will go in a positive direction. You, it's about surrendering to the divine, to your emotions, to your heart, and realizing that it will bring you to the place that you are meant to go that is your destiny, okay? What is going on in Cancer's personal interest energy, either now and in the near future? How are they currently feeling towards Cancer? What are their current feelings towards Cancer? What does Cancer need to know about their person of interest now or coming toward them in the future? What are the messages for cancer for February 2022? Oh, I forgot to mention that apparently there are issues between YouTube and Apple in terms of accessing that link. So if you can't access it, that's probably because you're on an Apple phone. But if you use an Android phone where you copy and paste that link into your web browser, you will be able to join the membership. Okay. Um, I've been told that it does work on Android. Look at that. Ace of Swords and the Devil Energy. So they are absolutely heck bent on telling you the truth. They're going through this awakening. They're realizing here that they have this attachment to you that's unexplainable. They can't let you go. They want to speak their truth to you. They're very determined to speak their truth to you or again, vice versa. It can be that a Capricorn or uh, somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart or somebody with toxic tendencies here is uh, looking for truth, looking for victory, spying, checking in on it. Can be this queen of wands, could have strong fire and earth in their chart with air. Uh, but this is somebody that uh, is determined to have victory, determined to speak their truth, to have a breakthrough. They're very determined to find out the truth or speak the truth here um to you or vice versa again or you could be having a sneak peek at what your person is going through here mm, okay they're looking for the truth or they want to speak the truth this is what i'm feeling somebody wants to speak their truth to you they want success with you here they're feeling very passionate about you here they want to apologize here if they have in uh, been sort of undecided this is they've had their realization judgment ace of swords that's you know I'm getting the clarity I need here to realize that I need to surrender, that I can't keep kind of running away or sneaking away or just spying and not saying anything. I need to speak up here. I need to say how I feel, what I'm thinking, what I want to do here. Somebody's learning that they need to honor their emotions instead of sweeping them under the carpet is what I'm hearing. Page of Cups. They want to speak to you. They want to visit you. Um, they want this new beginning with you. They're very attached to you and they know it. Yeah, wow, there you are, Cancer. They're thinking about you here. They're thinking about that you are their rightful path. They are definitely getting the download from the universe to speak their truth, to honor their emotions, to speak up, to manifest, to make things happen and to heal, to heal this situation. If there was a breakup or if they're leaving their past behind, they're learning to let go and surrender and not try to control everything here. Uh, I feel like this is somebody who's been quite honestly sweeping their emotions under the carpet, ignoring how they feel. Let's go ahead. We're going to use the tarot sexual magic. So for those of you that, you know, um, don't want to watch this part, you're welcome to click off. This is an adult tarot channel. Um, I actually have the channel set up for adults only. So if there's children around, you may want to make them just disappear for a minute so that you can hear these part of the messages as I show the images. Could be risque, okay? You have been warned. <laughs> what are the messages here in honor of Valentine's Day? Intimate messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the intimate messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages they need to hear? I will also clarify the Page of Swords, what we are spying on or checking in on or trying to research here. 
um, the star energy, you know, what our hopes, wishes, and dreams are, the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. We're going to check all of those, see where we're going to here in the near future. In the uh, part two, wow, there you go. Sun, clarity, happiness, success here. They want to come towards you and give you the clarity, the apology or a gift or a message of love that they feel that you are their rightful path, that they definitely feel divinely attached to you. Um, and that they feel like you are their destiny here to apologize perhaps for um, coming off or being sneaky or just kind of running away from you before. Wow, they feel like you are their empress. So they were <laughs> they were scared of you, intimidated by you maybe. They feel like everything was just so intense and so passionate that you embodied all the queens that they maybe felt like, I don't know, unworthy of you. But they're getting the download that you are the rightful path, that there is this there is this genuine attachment to you. And it's almost like it was toxic to them. They didn't know how to handle it. Yeah, wow. But guess what? Times have changed. <laughs> they want success with you. They just, they see you as getting a lot of attention. They see you as successful. They see you as their son, their happiness. That you're very determined to be successful. And I feel like it scared them. They just kind of like. And the other message I'm getting is they felt like maybe you were being dishonest. Trying to maybe get away with something. They didn't trust that you had feelings for them. Or vice versa. Seven of Pentacles. So they were waiting. They were waiting to see how much effort you would put in to see if you were willing to put effort in. So they may have been kind of like testing you to see if you were really somebody that would put the work in to see if you were really serious about them. So they may have been testing you to see how determined you were to be with them or wanting to be with them. Again, vice versa. It could be both of you, right? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Wow. We'll clarify that Seven of Pentacles as well in part two, but I want to get the mutual energies. We haven't got that done yet. So let's see what the mutual energies are. How is Cancer and the person currently feeling toward each other for the month of February, especially around Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2022? What are the newest messages for Cancer from the moon rising in Venus? They're going to bring everything out into the open here, though, with the sun because they want growth and success with you. It's like they're waiting or you're waiting to, to see what's gonna happen here, to see how much success, if you both want this, if you're both equally invested here, if you can have long-term, because we've got the seven to the 10 of pentacles to see if we can have a long-term commitment here. I think somebody's realizing, gaining the clarity of how much they're missing you here. And that they kind of ran away from the connection for some of you here. What are the mutual energies, please, between cancer and the person? You're both heartbroken. You're both missing each other here. You're both feeling rather disappointed is what I'm getting here. This change is inevitable. Maybe you had to go through this, this breakup to makeup kind of thing or realization. Maybe that's what they needed in order to get them to open up, to honor their emotions here, to stop running away, to stop hiding from it. This person may have been overanalyzing you were or you both were here. I feel like for some of you here, they just, this person has a lack of trust. Maybe they felt like you were just so intense and so, you know, hot <laughs> that they just didn't trust. And they started checking up on you, wondering like, you know, why me? Why are, why are you interested in me? Are you just, you know, um, taking, taking advantage of me? Or are you going to be somebody that takes advantage of me? Or are you going to be somebody that's really invested as I am? So I feel like they were almost testing you. And I feel like they want to come towards you here with the chariot here. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to maybe um, 
send you a message of love, tell you the truth here that they, they do feel like, you know, they want to heal the situation. They miss you. They regret what they did. They regretted testing you or regretted being jealous or worried or not trusting something like that. They want to bring everything out into the open. They want success with you mm -hmm. because they feel like they feel like they can have a future with you here, but they want to start off, uh, on honesty here because they know that you feel perhaps like they've been dishonest or trying to get away with something that's kind of what i'm seeing but let's go check in part two here we're going to dig a lot deeper i'm going to um, again clarify the page of swords to see what they're researching or checking up on you vice versa um, the star energy here what we're trying to heal from or go towards here this is about shedding your old skin i feel that's what they're trying to do uh, maybe, you know, get away from a certain way of thinking that they have been kind of trapped in their head overthinking on here. Again, overanalyzing. I feel like both of you have done a certain level of that. I feel like if they started to do that, then it kind of made you feel like, well, what's going on with them? Like, you know, why are they kind of like getting away from me? Like, what's wrong? And then you start thinking they're getting away with something. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a snowball domino effect here. Uh, we're going to see where this chariot's going. I feel like they want to come towards you and they're quite obsessed about getting this message to you is kind of what I'm seeing, but we're going to clarify that. So if this is where you leave me, I wish you so much love. I thank you all for being here. I send you many blessings and I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. I really do. Don't forget again to hit the like button, subscribe. It's absolutely free. Hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future readings. I'd love to see on Instagram or Facebook. I put stuff on the community page as well. For those of you who are new, you may want to check that out. Uh, keep an eye on it. I do post there and, and let you know who's usually coming up next. Um, Anyhow, let's get digging. I know we're all anxious. So I will see you all again next time. For those of you leaving me now, for those of you seeing me in part two, I will be right there. Namaste.